He says he knew in an instant that he was wrong. And tonight, a former Minneapolis police officer has been sentenced to 12 and a half years in prison, all after shooting and killing a woman in an alley behind her Minneapolis home. Our Paul Bloom was in court this morning. He joins us live with the latest tonight. Paul? Tim Mohammed Noor stood up in court on Friday and said he wished he could have reached out to the family and loved ones of Justine Ruschek Damon sooner, but that the criminal justice system prevented that. So in that courtroom on the 10th floor, he issued a public apology for shooting and killing the unarmed, innocent 911 caller. These are the people I work to serve, and I harmed them in the worst way possible. Again, I apologize. Former Minneapolis police officer Mohammed Noor, once so proud to put on the badge, now heading to prison for 23 months after he shot and killed Justine Ruschek Damon in the alley behind her home. The moment I pulled the trigger, I felt fear. When I walked around, I saw Ms. Ruschek dying on the ground. I felt horror. Seeing her there, I knew in an instant that I was wrong. Nor's legal team arguing in court for probation, or at the very least a minimal amount of time behind bars. They pointed to Nor's lifetime of good deeds and selflessness, and the fact he misinterpreted a threat of potential ambush in a split-second decision. A prison sentence for Mr. Noor will do nothing to change police culture. You will not find in Minnesota reported case law another situation where a court has departed from the sentencing guidelines requiring in a murder case a prison sentence and give probation. The prosecution asked Judge Catherine Quaintance for a punishment of 150 months or 12 and a half years, very much in line with third degree murder convictions for defendants with no criminal history. She doesn't seem to want to be like the lining They provided the court this moving video tribute of the victim's life before Damon's fiance poured out his heartbreak and his grief in an open letter to the woman he was set to marry about a month after the 2017 shooting. I miss you so much every day. Every moment. I didn't get to say goodbye, to hug you one last time. You died on a slab of concrete surrounded by strangers, some of whom did not care about you one bit. Mohammed Noor probably had about 200 supporters at the courthouse this morning during sentencing, many from his tight knit Somali immigrant uh, community. They left disappointed, angry, upset by what they described as a broken criminal justice system that came down far too hard on this former police officer because of his skin color and his religion. Now, under Minnesota state law, Muhammad Noor will have to do two thirds of his prison sentence in custody behind bars, meaning he will be eligible for parole in 2027. We're live at the Government Center. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right.